This really works. I mean, it really does work. If you just put in the minimal effort that I've been speaking about. This is the mystery. This is the great secret known by the seers and prophets and mystics throughout the ages. This is the truth that you can never know intellectually. Use this. If you want to have something show up in your life, the kind of person you would like to become, manifest something new into your life, something powerful, whatever it might be, you obviously must first be able to imagine it. Your imagination. This is yours and yours alone. You can place anything into your imagination that you want to place there. Independent of what anybody else says about it, independent of what your senses tell you, independent of all the evidence that may be to the contrary, you can place into your imagination an I am that represents what you would like to attract into your life and make it come into fruition. Einstein's most famous quote, one of his most famous observations, he said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. So you never want to place into your imagination any thought that you would not want to materialize. You never want to allow in your imagination to be contaminated by the way life used to be. Your imagination is yours. Don't let any other people influence you. Never allow people's ideas about what is possible or impossible for you to occupy your imagination. Logic will get you from A to B, but imagination will take you everywhere. Make your future dream a present fact by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So whatever it is that you would like to experience in your life, this, remember, your imagination is yours. Everything that now exists was once imagined. Therefore, everything that is going to exist must first be imagined. If you advance confidently in the direction of your own dreams and endeavor to live the life which you have imagined, you will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. It will chase after you if you can place into your imagination what it is that you would like to attract and begin to feel it. That which you feel yourself to be, you are. And you are given that which you are. So assume the feeling that would be yours were you already in possession of your wish and your wish must be realized so live in the feeling of being the one you want to be and that you shall be every feeling makes a subconscious impression and unless it is counteracted by a more powerful feeling of an opposite nature it must be expressed your feelings are different from your thoughts. Your feelings are what you experience in your body. The dominant of two feelings is the one expressed. I am healthy is a stronger feeling than I will be healthy. I am healthy says I feel healthy and I feel healthy. And that is not just something that I say. It's not just an affirmation. An affirmation is an intellectual exercise. This is a spiritual knowing within that I am well, I am content, I am prosperous. Every feeling that you have makes a subconscious impression upon your body and upon your awareness. Now you, you need to understand the subconscious mind of yours. Your subconscious mind rules your life. 96 to 97 percent of everything that you do is done as a result of your subconscious mind. And when your subconscious mind gets programmed, it goes ahead and responds to whatever it is your conscious mind has placed into it. 
This subconscious mind of yours is most impacted by your feelings. A change of feeling is a change of destiny. If this assumption about what you would like to become is persisted in until it becomes your dominant feeling, the attainment of your ideal is absolutely inevitable. You must first assume the feeling of a wish fulfilled in all aspects of your life. So you have to say to yourself, what does it feel like to be prosperous? What does it feel like to, to be content? What does it feel like to, to be well? You have to start retraining your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind, it responds to what it is that you suggest to it. Now the intriguing thing about your subconscious mind, your habitual mind, is that um, it can't make a distinction between what it is that you are feeling as a result of what you have placed into your imagination and assumed the feeling of it and what you are experiencing every day in your life. Your feelings, your feelings create the destiny that you want. If this assumption is persisted in until it becomes your dominant feeling, the attainment of your ideal is absolutely inevitable. Use this. Don't allow anybody else's opinions. Don't allow what it says on the internet. Don't allow the research. Don't allow what anybody out there tells you is possible or not possible for you. Your subconscious mind is most comfortable when you are unconscious. You are unconscious when you are in your sleep state. And in your sleep state, your subconscious mind is busy at work. And it's so important, these, I call it the last five minutes of your day. So you get into bed, every day you get into bed, it's, uh, you get ready to go to sleep. And you are now about to, you're in that state between being awake and being asleep where you're getting drowsy and, um, and you are going to marinate for the next eight hours in your unconscious, subconscious mind. You're preparing your marinade. And the question is, how do you want to prepare yourself for having your instructions sealed. Your ears are opened and your instructions are sealed. So most people use the last five minutes of their day <clears throat> as they're about to enter into sleep to review all of the things that they don't like and all of the things that didn't work and all of the people that hurt their feelings. This is the time when you fill your mind with all of this stuff and then you go off into sleep and he opens your ears and seals your instructions while you are slumbering. That's right out of the book of Job. The feeling which comes in response to the question, how would I feel were my wish realized? is the feeling which should monopolize and mobilize your attention as you relax into sleep. How would I feel were what it is that I would like to attract and create, and I don't care what it is, whether it's about the, the condition of your body, the disease state that you're in, the fact that you've been overweight. Ignore what your senses tell you. Ignore what, uh, what you see on the scale. Ignore all of that and say, I am sober. I am healthy. I am well-being, I am content, I am happy, I am perfect health. Because ultimately, that's how you will attract it. You have to be able to see the wish fulfilled already in advance and call those things which do not yet exist as though they do. Keep this in mind when people say to me, and they say it to me all the time, what if I do everything that you say and it doesn't work. If it doesn't feel natural, if it doesn't feel natural, it isn't gonna work. 